You don't want need to learn how to make AI videos and it's a bit scary. Now imagine this scenario where you want to make something beautiful with AI but you don't know how to. So you found this AI tool where you just give it your idea, just a rough idea. Then you sit back, relax over a glass of tea, call out your friend that you've not called in a while or scroll through TikTok videos. This AI agent spells the entire job for you. And when it is gone, you just have to preview. If you have anything you want to edit, just type it, this AI agent will edit it. Which means you don't even need to have video editing skill. Now let me show you an example of what I created using this AI tool. I made this video using Focal. The link is in the video description. Sign up for a free account. Focal gives you access to top notch AI models like VO3.1, Runaway ML, Sora, Term9, Nano Banana, and many other top notch AI models. Let me show you how this tool works. So, when you sign up on Focal, this is what the interface looks like. It's very simple and very easy to navigate through this website. On this box is where you're going to type in your idea or your script or whatever that you have that you want to type in right here. Okay, below it, you see this plus sign. That's where you can attach a media. This could be the image of your main character for the story that you want to create. Beside it, you see models. You can create image, and for the image, you can have GPT image 1.5, Nano Banana, Nano Banana Pro, Seed Dream 4.5, Z Image Turbo. And for the video, you have Seed Dance 1 Pro Fast, Helio 2.3, Google VO 3.1, and Google VO 3.1 Fast. For the voice, you have 11 Labs V3 and 11 Labs Turbo. So you can use any of this one, the one that you prefer. Beside it, you're going to choose how you want to start your creation, either from an idea or with a script or you have a JSON prompt. The choice is yours, which means if you have a JSON prompt, this is perfect for you. If you have an already written script, this is also perfect for you. And you can just type in a simple idea like I told you. Beside it is where you also choose the duration of what you want to create up to three minutes long video. All right, or you leave it at auto if you don't know how long this is going to take. So when you're typing an idea and you don't know how long that story would take, you just leave it at auto so that Focal will decide how long the story is going to take. Right here, you're going to see Focal templates, two sample templates that you might want to use. Okay, if you want to use any of them, just select any of them to use. Now, I told you that you can create your video on Focal using just a simple idea and i'm going to show you how that works so what you have to do is type in your idea right here so we're going to say something like so we said make a video about david in the bible 3d character this is very simple and you'll be amazed at what focal can make out of this very simple idea that we have made okay we're not going to add any image it's going to do the generation itself and of course we are leaving it at from idea and the duration we are going to leave it at auto so that it's going to decide duration now when you look closely right here you're going to see english which means you can create in different languages you can create in english spanish espanol french francais german arabic hindi thai italian filipiano choice is yours so this gives you a vast opportunity of things you can create in whichever region where you find yourself so we're going to tap here to start creating and you're going to be amazed at what this ai tool does trust me it's going to show you the project settings. So if you don't want to create this for probably YouTube, you want to create it for YouTube Shorts, or you want to create it for a TikTok video or Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, then you have to tap on this ratio and choose 9 by 16 or any other aspect ratio that you want. I'm going to leave it at 16 by 9. 
for the language you are going to leave it at english because that's what i'm speaking right for the duration i think one minute is okay for the purpose of this video and the audio style is narration i think that's better so it narrates the story okay because when you're making a video about david in the bible is basically the main target are children right and it's perfect if it's narration right for the advanced settings you can tap here on this arrow to see advanced settings where you're going to choose caption which means focal does caption for your video you don't need to stress the image model that will be used you can change it from gpt to probably nano banana pro so let's use nano banana pro because we know how powerful and how strong nano banana pro is for the video model we can choose um google vo 3.1 fast okay because i want it to be fast and right here you can see the plot that is going to use so from 0 to 10 seconds it included timestamp okay from 0 to 10 seconds this is what's going to happen done over julian hills young shepherd david watches his sheep so this gives you an idea of what your story is going to look like and i think this is very beautiful so you can also edit this plot if you want to if you don't like how the plot is going you can change it all right and then once you're done editing you can tap here and it's going to save it okay so here are the characters david teen shepherd boy brand calls tan skin simple linen tonic sling bag this gives you an idea of what your characters look like or what they are going to look like right so now the message it gave us here is i set this up to a 60 seconds family friendly 3d cinematic retelling if it looks right you tap yes start generating or change the plot or episode or make it shorter 30 seconds so we are going to go ahead and say yes start generating said what tone do you want kid friendly and inspiring epic and dramatic calm and devotional i'm going to choose kid friendly all right that's because i feel that david's story would sit well with kids right i'm going to select kid friendly and inspiring so once again focal is thinking so if you want to see what's happening here you see that i said called for tools and it's still working right you're going to tap on show more to see working right so here is what is happening it's generating voice so you allow it to finish and once it's done you're going to see the next step so now focal has brought the entire thing to the timeline you see that focal also gives you an editing space where you can edit the video instantly now you can see that the narration is already on the timeline what it's doing now is generating the images right to tap here you can see that here is where the voice is, is continuing you can see here to continue the process so these are the images that it has generated now take note that one of the good things about using focal is that it gives you access to tools that will help you maintain consistent characters throughout your story right so from the images we are seeing here you can see that these are cool images like you saw we selected nano banana pro so we don't expect anything less than good quality right so let's give it time to generate the entire image and continue with the video we don't need to do anything right here all you have to do is sit back do whatever you want to do and allow it to finish the job the pictures are now on our timeline and it's going to start creating the videos that's basically how focal works it allows you to relax and let it do the job that it is created to do now that it's done you see that it said if you want changes tell me what to adjust length more kid friendly add saw jonathan more action so anything you want just let it know and as you can see it also created a background music for us we don't need to stress about finding background music right so what you want to do now is play the video and see if you have any corrections and to do that you're going to tap on this play button right here or tap the space bar on your keyboard right to listen to the video or to watch the video and see if you want something adjusted because you need to watch the video to find an error somewhere right so let's watch the video in the hills of bethlehem young david watched his father's sheep singing to god beneath the rising sun one day the prophet samuel arrived god chose the least expected and samuel anointed david with oil not long after Israel faced a terrifying giant named Goliath, shouting his challenge across the valley. While soldiers trembled, David stepped forward. He didn't trust armor. He trusted the Lord. David ran toward the giant, swung his sling, and released one smooth stone. The stone struck true, and the giant fell. 
courage spread through Israel like fire. Years later, David became king, but he still remembered who guided him. He wrote songs of praise, the Lord is my shepherd. His story still inspires faith today. Like David, we can be brave because God is with us. Okay, so I think this is nice, but we are going to make a few adjustments just to see how the correction works if you want to make an adjustment. One day, the prophet Samuel arrived. God chose... One day, the prophet Samuel arrived, right? We're going to include that. So we're going to say... Okay, so we're going to say this line should show the arrival of prophet samuel prophet samuel arrived before anointing david right so we want this particular line to show prophet samuel arriving so we're going to type this here and tap here focal is going to start thinking like i told you anything you want to adjust just type it and focal is going to do it it has created the image of prophet samuel's arrival now it's turning the image into video we're going to wait to see the result so now it's done. Let's play the video again and see what happens here. One day, the prophet Samuel arrived. God chose the least expected, and Samuel anointed David with oil. Not long after... Now we didn't get to see where Samuel anointed David with oil. But here's the thing. When it creates this video, you can actually adjust the duration, okay? So it typically creates about 8 seconds of video or about 5 seconds of video for each clip, right? Which means it's very possible that this clip has not gotten to the end. So what you can do is select that particular clip. You know this is also an editing space for you, right? You can just drag here to see if there's something else here. And as you can see, that's not even the end of the video, right? You can just adjust it a little bit. And then let's play it and see what happens. Anointed David with oil. Not long after. Now we can see that there was an oil actually. So it's very easy to edit whatever you want to edit here or type for it to adjust the duration if you want to, right? So while we watched it the first time, there was this place I took note of, which is the fall of David, right? So like we did for the other one, let's also stretch it to see if... It included where he fell completely to the ground, right? So let's play it from here. Like fire. You see? Years later. So this is very beautiful. If you want to edit any other thing, if you don't want to stretch it, you can simply come over here and tell it what to do, right? You can select the clip that you want. The clip is already here, right? You can tell it what you want it to do. Okay, so now let's take a look at the features that are available here on this editing timeline. The first one here is a snipe select item where you can use to cut or split the clip that you have selected. Beside it is the delete button where you can delete and of course the selection tool. If you use this tool, you have to return to your selection to right. Okay, so here is the play button that we've used. And if you've done something you want to undo, you use this button to undo the bone beside it to redo. You can also use this to zoom in on your timeline or to zoom out on your timeline. You can use here to increase the speed and here to see a full screen of what you are doing. Now beside it is the export. If you are done with everything you want to do, you can go ahead and export it. But before we export it, there is other things that you can do right here. One of them is change this caption if you want to or add a text if you want to, okay? From here, you can see that you have the option to add a text. You have here to change the caption. You can also choose here to see the characters that are involved. You can add character if you want to. Also, the scratch pad is where you can change the entire idea or edit the plot just like we saw initially when we are starting the project. And for transition, you can add transition between one clip to the other and here is the settings if you want to change any settings like the aspect ratio the style the image model the video model or the voice model you can also change the language if you want to change the language right here so let's see how we can change the caption okay now when we go to caption you can go to advanced to see more features about the caption where you can change the font so we can choose a different font here if you want to and then you can go ahead and choose how you want this caption to appear. If you choose yellow, it's going to change the entire font to yellow, right? And you can also choose that it appears in two lines, okay? 
under lines you go and choose two lines so it becomes shorter and probably not fill the entire screen right right here you can choose to make it bold all through for capital letters or you make it slant if you want to so we're going to remove it from capital letters and leave it on slant i think i like the yellow color but if you want you can also choose a different color from here you can also reduce the size or increase the size if you want to the choice is yours so i'm going to leave it at 28 okay we're going to change the fonts let's change the font to montessorat and okay that's not bad all right so once you're done with any other thing you want to edit the next thing is for you to export now here is how the export works right you can go ahead and tap on export if you tap on export, give your video a name. Now, this name is important because Focal works like a YouTube channel, right? When you choose a name, it's going to appear on your channel with that name, all right? So you can leave it at David and Goliath, a short story, or you change it, all right? You can leave a video description just as you do on YouTube. And for the video format, you can choose to save your video or export your video as MP4 or FCP XML. Below you to choose the quality of your video from low to medium to high. I'm going to leave it at high. And once that is done, you tap on export. And if you export, it's very fast. So we're going to give it a few seconds so that it's done rendering. And we'll see how you can save the video to your device. So now that it's done exporting, tap on view your video. In the hills of Bethlehem, so you see, it functions just like a YouTube channel. Your video is here. You can see the number of your subscribers. I don't have subscribers. So make sure you sign up on Foco and search for Derati. Subscribe to my account, all right? So when you see it here, what you have to do to save it to your device is tap here and then choose download. It's going to save to your device instantly, all right? So this is just the same way it works if you have a script that you want to create, all right? The good thing about using Foco is that you have your video editor right here. You don't need to go ahead to subscribe to a different editing application or editing software. You don't need that. Once you have Foco, you do your editing right here and it's very easy. This makes AI automation much more easier. You can use ChatGPT, DeepSea or any other AI to develop the rough idea that you have if you do not want to continue with the rough idea. You're going to tap here and choose script. Okay, so now you're going to paste your scripts. I've already copied my script, all right? So once you paste it here, choose your language, okay? Or you can also leave it because you can change it later. So we're going to tap here. It's basically the same process that it is going to follow to create the entire video, okay? You can choose your model, choose the duration, just like we did for the first one. So the choice is yours, and I hope you start creating instantly using Focal. So use the link in the video description, register for an account if you have not done so already and start creating. I can't wait to see what you're going to create now that I've shown you the basics of how this AI tool works. I don't know why I feel like AI is just getting started.